Hi, Eris friends. I am here to give you a little quick tutorial on our website. I've had a lot of queries lately. Um, I think Lisa's heard from a couple of people, maybe some other members have as well, about how to use the website and how to get onto the members only pages. So this is my uh, attempt to do this all at once. And if it doesn't work for you, please uh, text me and ask me your questions. I'll be happy to get back to you on that. And in the meantime, we're going to try to walk through this and see if it works. Now, first off, write this down somewhere. Our website name is www. all lowercase. Well, it doesn't really matter, but all lowercase Elmira Regional Art Society dot com. No spaces. Okay. So we're going to put that in. And when we get to the members only pages, I'm not going to say the password on here, lest some non-members see this because I'm putting it on YouTube. Um, but I will email everybody with the password. All right. So then write it down with the name of the website. And hopefully that handles a lot of our problems. Um, so here we go. I'm going to turn you around now so you can see my screen. Probably the words will be backwards, but I'll read them to you. <laughs> Okay, let me lower this a little bit. There we go. Bring it in. All right. So first off, we're going to type in, in the search box, www.elmiraregionalartsociety.com and then enter. There we go. We're at the home page. See that? See where our meetings are? Blah, blah, blah. At the top of the page are uh, all our pages. Home, membership, who we are, and more. Click more. There are the rest of our pages. Where we are, the palette awards, learn with us, members only, contact us, and members artwork. We're going to go right now to where we are because that's going to tell you where our venues are and where we have space. So for instance, at the Horseheads Historical Museum, let's just say you wanted to be there in January, February. This is 2023, so obviously that's over with. But if you wanted to be there, then what you would do, so January, February, Hor Horseheads Historical uh, Museum, then you go back up to the More page and go to the Members Only page, Members Only. Oh, look at that, it's password protected. So. I will email you the password, but log in. You put the password in, you log in, and ta-da, you're here. Now, there's a form to fill out right here uh, for the venue that you want. So you fill this out, the date you want to be in there. So if it's, say, January, you're going to put it in 01-01-2023, location, Horseheads Historical Museum, your name, your comments are, I'd like to be in, in there in January and February. Submit. When you submit, it goes to our email and someone will get back to you, the exhibition person, which currently is Betsy Drake, will get back to you and confirm that yes, nobody else has requested it. You're the first person to request it and you have it. Then you know you're in. There's also like uh, information on the palette, information on the venues, and code of conduct, and this little baby, which is your exhibition list that you need to have at each venue. So you just copy this and hit print. On my computer, it's control P. On my iPad, I think I just have the option of up in the corner of hitting, uh, saying print. Um, and then you get your, your form you can just fill out. Ta-da, how easy is that? So as you can see, it's not too hard. I will email you the actual password and let's turn my final goodbyes to you. That should be easy. So Elmira Regional Art Society.com. You come to the home page, the, the different pages, there's quite a few pages. That's why it lists the first few and then it says more. And then you hit that and you have a drop down menu and you can choose a different page to look at. So I, I encourage you. Go explore the website, sign into the members only pages. Even if you just want to send a test email, just put that this is a test. I want to see how this works. 
um, when you hit the when you fill out the form in the members only pages and and email it, and one of us will get back to you and say yes, it worked. <laughs> okay, if you have questions, text me or email me. But texting is my fastest way to get back to you. Um, have a great day, and let me know if this is helpful.